Testing, testing, jingle dip, jingle dip, jingle all the way. Happy holidays. Ooh. What's cracking, folks? Jared Outlaw here. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I didn't. I was sick as a dog. Why do they say sick as a dog, by the way? Let me know in the comments below, because I don't understand that. Because my dog's not sick. I mean, he's sick as tits, like in a good way, but <laughs> not in a bad way. I don't know why they say sick as a dog. Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, I was pretty gosh dang sick over Thanksgiving. It ruined my Thanksgiving. I didn't even have Thanksgiving. I had a horrible freaking sinus infection. I was trying to make this vidget last week, but it just didn't go well. I was up in the mountains, as you guys saw in my last vidget. If you ain't seen it yet, you guys can. I was uh, hunting with Mullet Man and Lake Fork Guy and got a nasty sinus infection. So if I still sound a little bit of nasally, apologize for that. Okay, blame it on old Mullet Man and Lake Fork Guy. But yeah, guys, we, uh, we're talking about dip today. I wanted to do a little update because on Black Friday, which goes, I hope you guys spent all your freaking money. It's ridiculous how uh, Black Friday now. It's like everywhere you go on social media, somebody's doing a deal and they're like, this is your last chance to save money. It's like, oh Lord, I don't know. I, we didn't go too crazy on our Black Friday deals. We did a couple, but it's just, I just like, it's a little cringe fest out there sometimes. So we didn't want to go too crazy, but we did drop a new product. And that is our NickSafe product. And a lot of people in the comments section, we released a blog with all of the information, toxicology reports, ingredient lists, and things like that on this product to let people know what it was. And I wanted to make a video on this and explain more in detail, but like I said, I was sick. So that's what this is right now. We're finally back in your face. And speaking of our face, I'm about to show a dip in my face. Now, it's not a PDS. I hope you guys cheers at home with me. I, if you guys don't know anything about me personally, I, I mean, I was known as the outlaw dipper for a long time, right? I, uh, cheers folks, here we go. Mmm. Outlaw Wintergreen made with Nick Safe. This is the fat cut version. We got pouches coming on the way. A nicotine alternative that is not nicotine, but it still gives you a buzz. That's what we're talking about today, folks. Mmm. I love that freaking burn of the wintergreen. It is only available in the wintergreen version as of right now. So let's go ahead and get down to the nitty gritty. Like I was saying, if you, as you guys know, about seven, eight months ago, I quit nicotine completely. I was doing, like I talked about before, I was doing, listen, <laughs> the game has changed so much since I quit six, seven months ago. Now everybody's on these zinny boys, right? They're on these zins. Now, I know a lot about Zen. I used to be an ambassador for Zen. I used to work with Zen years ago, before they ever blew up, before they were even in the States. They were only over in Sweden. They weren't on every shelf in America. This is a long time ago. I used to do videos for them and, and all this stuff. They sent me t-shirts and they sent me dip and they sent me a whole bunch of different things. I used to work with them. They, they're owned by Swedish Match, which I think they just sold for billions and billions of freaking dollars. Crazy in the tobacco industry. Uh, I was an ambassador for a lot of companies. Zinn was one of them. Now everybody and their mother is doing Zinn nowadays, right? So when we were looking at this product, I was looking at most people are doing the Zinn. You know what I mean? So they're used to a three milligram or a six milligram. When I was snoozing, okay, Zinn is nothing, all right? I was doing actual legit Swedish snooze where my, the milligram of nicotine that I was doing at one time with one pouch was like 40 to 50 milligrams per pouch, okay? And I got these guys, I'm like, I'm hunting with these guys and I'm around people that are like, oh dude, the six milli, like oh, I am freaking buzzing, dude. And I'm just like, are you, I'm rolling my eyes, just like what in the world? So now mind you, I haven't dipped nicotine in six, seven months, right? So when I first tried this, I was like, man, anything that's supposed to give you a buzz, like I haven't dipped in six, seven months. I don't know how this is gonna freaking go. Just so you guys know, I've had this in for two, three minutes now. I just started feeling it right now. So I would say that this Nick Safe, right off the bat, so I don't forget, because I, I, I know I go on a lot of tangents, is the Nick Safe is slower releasing than nicotine. Nicotine is like pretty much like instantly, you can feel it probably within the first minute. Um, this Nick Safe, I would say two to five minutes is usually on average what I'm feeling and what other people are feeling too. Slower releasing and we'll go into more of the effects here in just a minute. But when we first started testing these, this out, I felt it like big time right at the beginning. I was like, man, I haven't had dip nicotine in, in quite a while. This might hit me pretty gosh dang hard. So it took a minute for me to get used to having a buzz again. But when we started to test this product out, 
I wanted to go back and try some actual nicotine, so I tried a Zen as well. And right now, I'm, I, uh, I'm, I'm comparing the nicotine buzz to the Nick Safe buzz. So when we were up in the mountains, Old Lake Fork guy, he had a pack of Zins on him, and I said, give me one of them. It was a six milligram wintergreen or mint or something like that. I put one in. Honestly, didn't even really feel it that much. I was like, you know, I started to feel it kind of at the end. I was like, okay, I do feel a little bit. The nicotine buzz, to me, it feels like it, it, it only attacks one part of your brain where it's almost like it's, it's, it's dialed into one part that's giving you this buzz um, where this Nick safe, it's almost like, I, it's, this is a weird explanation. I know it's hard to explain, but like, okay, let's just say I throw a Zen in, I'm getting a buzz. It's almost like I feel it in one part of my head. It doesn't translate to the body really. The nicotine buzz kind of stays in my head. That's what I'm comparing it to. That's kind of how I feel personally. When I put this in, it's like everything in my head is all triggering at once and I'm, it's translating to the body too. Now, not as heavy as a buzz as nicotine is. Like I said, slower releasing, takes a little bit longer to feel the buzz. But I like to say it's almost like a warm hug. Now, what is Nick Safe? First of all, Nick Safe is our name. Uh, that, that we use. The actual product name is called Nixamide, which is a new product that they're using specifically in vape. To, um, it was formulated and it's been being worked on by a company called Bongard Naturals. Uh, they are the ones that created this product and they're also creating other things alike as well. They created this originally for vape because the vape industry obviously is huge. It became bigger than the dip industry. The dip industry is kind of like small comparative to you know, the cigarette industry and the vape industry, the vape industry, you know, there's so many different vapes out there and there's so many people that vape and, you know, I feel like it's taken a hit. But anyways, this was mostly meant for vape, to, to vape and for you to get a, uh, a buzz without the Nick salts, without the nicotine. So when we saw this, we were like, hmm, I wonder if it's going to have the same effect in dip. We tried it out. It did. Very similar as the vape. So we started looking into, okay, what is this product? What is it? So it's a form of vitamin B3, actually, um, with the main ingredient being, I, I, I always like kind of, you know, let me just look it up just so I don't sound like a total idiot, but uh, nicotinamide, nicotinamide, okay? Nicotinamide is a form of uh, vitamin B3 uh, found in food, found in supplements, and is not uh, directly... Um, regulated under the Tobacco Control Act. Now, um, I should have said this at the very beginning. I'm putting our, we, we made a whole blog about uh, this product and what it is that includes the toxo uh, toxicology testing, um, their, their crude documents and, and reports and stuff inside. I'm going to put that linked in the description box below if you guys want to read up on it more. And um, what the, uh, what the WHO has to say about it, the World Health Organization, things like that, um, is all in the description box below. So uh, I guess while I have this up, we'll go ahead and just go over symptoms or side effects of nicotinamide or nixamide. The only thing they say that it, uh, or they list as an exposure sim symptom is a cough, but that's when it's used in vape, and that's whenever you use a lot of it, which um, you'll see now. Nicotine, traditional nicotine, their exposure symptoms lifted on whose website is burning sensation, nausea, vomiting, convulsions, abdominal pain, headache, sweating, etc. Uh, Nixamide or Nixafe does not have any of that. Also, I don't want to say too much about this because I, it might get me in trouble down the road, but generally it says Nixafe is non addictive when used with recommended doses. The recommended dose is what's in this can. Overdose or injury using nixamide has never occurred, and nixamide will not be detected in drug tests or nicotine tests. So for instance, if you have to take a nicotine test at work, this will not show up on it and you still get a buzz. So let's go back to the buzz for a second. Like I said, it's different than a nicotine buzz. And I also want to go back to what I was saying earlier too, where people are like, you know, why don't you use tobacco? Or why don't you just put nicotine in your dip? Guys, first of all, like I said, it's not legal to do so anymore. We decided to not pay the government millions of dollars. They, the government came to us. You can look it up. It's on the FDA's website. They posted about it. 
And they said, you guys can no longer sell this because you are not willing to pay us millions of dollars. That's literally what went down. The government wanted us to pay them, or the, the Food and Drug Administration, they wanted us to pay them millions of dollars to be able to continue manufacturing. Like, what is the point? I, this still pisses me off. And, and it, gets, it gets me very aggravated when people are like, you, you, you're losing so much money because you're not doing what your fans want. It's like, listen, we want to do what they wanted, but we would go to prison if we continued to doing this because we did not pay them. On their website, it shows them. We, or it shows what happened. We had a phone call. Literally, we had many phone calls with lawyers, with the FDA on the phone. And they're like, you need to submit a PMTA to us and you need to pay this amount and you need to run these reports to be able to still sell nicotine. And I'm like, okay, so you want us to pay you. I'm like, where's this money going? Where is this money going? They wouldn't tell us. It's like, I don't know where this money is going. The only, so you submit a PMTA is what they call it, a pre-market tobacco authorization, right? Which all these big tobacco corporations did, right? The only PMTAs that have been accepted so far, there's only been a few, have only been PMTA submitted by these giant tobacco corporations. That's it. So like, for instance, I don't know, it's Philip Morris and RJ Reynolds, all these big tobacco corporations that have these vapes and stuff that had to be submitted PMTAs to. Those are the only ones that have been accepted. The only ones that have been accepted have been by these giant billion dollar corporations that have been in the back pocket of the FDA and they've been shaking hands with the government since forever. So when my partners and I with the dip, we're like, I don't know, man, I just don't feel safe doing this. One, you know, we're going to have to get a loan of millions of dollars for, to pay the government to continue manufacturing our product. Doesn't seem right. A lot of people did. And uh, now they're probably they wishing they didn't because nobody's getting accepted. It's, um, it's a big mess. So now we found a way about it. We're always continuously trying to innovate this industry and innovate our products. And that's where this Nick Save come from. Um, you know, some people are going to have issues with it and say, I'll just stick to my Copenhagen, stick to my Grizzly. That's 100% fine. I'm not trying to sell or make anybody switch from tobacco or whatever. We're just making it easier for people to do so if they choose. I'm not forcing you. I'm not asking you to stick with your Copenhagen if you want to. Stick with your Grizzly. Stick with your Zin. That's 100% fine. If you are comfortable doing that and you want to spend that money to, to, um, to continue dipping nicotine or tobacco, that is 100% fine. I am, I am nothing against it, and I'm not trying to sell you on anything. I'm just, just like with people with food, you know, why aren't you eating meat, or why aren't you doing this? You know, there, there's, there's plenty of correlations that I can make that are the similar to this. I'm not trying to force anybody to do anything. I'm just uh, trying to explain what we have as a product, and that nobody's done it yet, and we have, so I have to explain it. Uh, that's just what business is like, and I think it's a very innovative um, thing in the industry that's going on right now, and also... On our website, you know, we've in, in our promotions and our marketing, we've always said it's the future of dip, and this legitimately is the future of dip. This Nick Safe, it says a safe alternative to nicotine. It's proven. You still get a buzz. It's a different buzz. It's a great buzz to me. The funny thing about Nick Safe is I'll take the dip out, and I'll still continuously have that buzz for like an hour after. And it's almost, I don't even like to say it's a buzz. I, I guess a buzz is like the best way to explain it. But it's, it's like, like I said, it's like a warm hub. It's, it's a warm feeling in the body. It's interesting. It's like, a, it's, it's, I'll get some wording, I guess, whenever I test it out more with different flavors and stuff over time. But man, it's just, it's freaking, it's such a, um, a, an interesting feeling that I've never felt before. It's longer lasting. It's cleaner. I don't feel like crap. The biggest reason why I stopped dipping nicotine personally was because I felt like crap every time. Now, mind you, I was doing a lot of nicotine. I was doing a lot. I was doing 40, 50 milligrams per. And, I, and, and it felt great. And my body was addicted to it, right? But now, I could throw in a lot of this and it feels so much cleaner. I don't get that crappy feeling. Whenever if I'm working really hard and I have this in, where I, where, whereas with nicotine, if I was working really hard and I got hot, I want to take it out because I'm just like, oh my gosh, like it's just too much right now. My, I'm overstimulated in the brain. I haven't gotten this with that at all. Um, like I said, I'm not trying to sell you guys on it. I'm just trying to give you guys my personal experience as being a dipper for over 15 years. Um, 
As far as the can go, a little bit new design here. Also, we have the ingredients on the side label and we have a little bit uh, uh, about the product on the side as well, as, along with a QR code where you can scan with your phone and it'll take you to our blog on this, which we are constantly updating. If there's any new reports or any new documentation about the product, we will update that blog as well. Just trying to be as responsible as possible. We still do, um, uh, there is no, it, like I said, it's, it falls under the supplement so that we don't have to age verify anybody, but to, to take the responsible route, we are. I never said route before. I usually say route, and I just said route, and it felt pretty good. What do you say, route or route? I don't know how you're going to spell that. I guess if you say root, R-O-O-T, but I've never said that. It felt pretty good. I don't know. Let me go. I feel smart saying that. We've never taken that route. What was I even talking about? <laughs> I don't even remember what I was talking about. Uh, age restriction. Oh, age restriction. We didn't have to go the route of age verifying anybody, but because we want to be responsible, we took the high road and we, you do have to be 18 to buy this product on our website, which I don't think will be a lot of issues for a lot of people, but we're just doing that to take um, steps in the right direction. And um, you got, just got to put in your birthday and just make sure you're 18 before you buy this product. So um, right now, like I said, it is only available in our wintergreen. Um, when you're watching this, we might have other flavors up where uh, our core six flavors that we still make all together is, is uh, obviously Outlaw Wintergreen, Outlaw Watermelon, Wild Watermelon, um, Outlaw Georgia Peach, Outlaw Backwoods Blueberry, Outlaw Ramblin' Root Beer, and Outlaw Southern Sweet Tea. Those six flavors are eventually here going to have the Nick Safe and also the pouches, which me as a daily dipper still, but tobacco-free, nicotine-free, I've been dipping the Outlaw Wintergreen pouches like crazy. I like to throw, and also a little update on our pouches as well. Um, a lot of people, when we first release our pouches, uh, the complaint that we were getting, and like I say always, we're very transparent with our customers. We are, and I will always tell when we do something wrong or whenever we need to work on something. It's something we needed to work on at the very beginning when we released our pouches was people said they were too flat and we weren't getting enough product. Make a dip pouch is actually super freaking hard. It is not easy to do whatsoever. There's a lot of different things that go into it. And getting the product dry enough to get in the pouch and then re-moisten or rehydrate it after the fact was a, a product or a problem that we never had to deal with before. And we finally figured it out. Our pouches are now a lot plumper. I like to throw them in the top. Mm, upper deckers make your pecker bigger. Our wintergreen, even though it is tobacco and nicotine free, you still get that burn. Absolutely love it. This is going to be the, the next one that we do the Nick Safe in. That should be out here very shortly and uh, with our pouches in the wintergreen. Our wintergreen pouches are our most popular. You do get that burn. The flavor is unbelievable. I like to say it's almost like those white lifesaver candies with even more sweetness. Uh, just abs so freaking good. And then it's just a beautiful burn in the lip that's not too overpowering. Maybe if you're a virgin dipper and you've never had anything in your gums before, it might be a little bit too much for you. But I just absolutely love that wintergreen. Used to hate wintergreen back in the day. Now I absolutely love it. So. That's a little rundown on our Nick Safe here at Outlaw Dip Man. We've been testing and researching this Nick Safe product over the past few months, and um, it really at first was too good to be true kind of thing. Once we started doing a lot of experiments with it and 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 getting it out there, we then realized pretty quickly that hey, this is definitely a way that we're going to be able to bring the buzz back to dip safely um, without all these chemicals and without all these harsh things that even nicotine has um, to be less addictive, to be not a product of tobacco whatsoever. Um, we think this is a very, very innovative in the industry and we're super excited to bring it to you guys here. Uh, and man, I'm just excited for you guys to try it. That's all I can say now is that I just need you guys to try it. And uh, I'm excited for you too. So right now, like I said, it is in the wintergreen fat cut version of our dip. We've been reformulating our fat cut for the longest time. Um, we've got such a good pinchability now. The softness of the dip is absolutely insane. Just a beautiful packability, the freaking the, the moisture and everything. I love our fat cut. When you compare it to a lot of other brands that are in our, you know, in our space, they use things like corn silk, which is just disgusting. Um, just honestly, when I smell corn silk, it just makes me gag. The, the freaking texture of it is just disgusting. They use lettuce where it looks orange. Um, it just doesn't look appetizing. Um, 
it took us a long time to get to this point. And, you know, like I said, we used to make nicotine and we used to make tobacco back in the day. And I, when we were still making those, I said I wanted to make the best tobacco-free, nicotine-free version of dip. And we spent years. We've spent years and years and years formulating this and sourcing leaps all around the world. We finally came to the best one. We finally came to the best. I mean, we manufacture everything in-house. Where a lot of these other companies you see, they third-party, they just push it to a different company that, that makes it for them. They're not actually hands-on with the product. When you ask them to do something else, like, hey, your product tastes disgusting or this, this flavor's gross, like, all they do is they take that information, maybe if they even do, and they give it to a third party, whoever is making their dip where they probably don't even speak English. Um, that's just the sad truth of it, where if you tell us we're in, we are in the shop, we are in the warehouse every day, day, day in and day out, working on this product to make the best product possible, and um, with our new Nick Safe product here, uh, we hope that you guys love it. We hope that it's a safer way to get a buzz for a lot of people out there. And if people are trying to transition off of an addictive nicotine or off of a uh, chemical-filled tobacco or things like that, um, we hope this is the first place that you come. Uh, Outlawdip.com, links in the description box below. Also. Like I said, all the toxicology reports, everything that we talked about and even more is in the description box and on your can when you purchase it. So thank you guys so much. Just wanted to update you guys. Hope you guys have a happy holidays. Had a great Thanksgiving. I know I yapped on quite a bit here. Um, my gums are on fire right now. I'm loving it. I'm going to go enjoy this dip a little bit more, and I reckon we'll see you on the dip side. Thanks, y'all. Holla.